What is up, guys? If you have been following me on Instagram, you would have seen that I am headed to Cedar Point, the roller coaster capital of the world in Sandusky, Ohio, soon. So I'm super excited for that. They have 17 amazing roller coasters. Well, I don't know if all 17 are amazing, but we'll see. So this video, I'm going to be discussing in my top 10 most anticipated coasters. So let's hop right into it. Coming in at number 10 is going to be Blue Streak. This looks like a decent little wooden family coaster that has some really solid airtime moments, good pacing, and just a fun all-around coaster. A lot of people say this is extremely underrated, so I don't know. I'm going to have to see for myself, but I think I'm going to really enjoy this coaster, and that's why I'm putting it at number 10. Coming in at number 9 is going to be Valraven, the new for 2016 B&M dive coaster. So, I don't really know what to think about this one because I like Yukon, I don't like Yukon. It, it really, whether you get a good ride on it or not, sometimes it gives really bad rides, sometimes it gives really good rides. Um, so yeah, the best restraints on Yukon, I don't even like them. And people say they're like 10 times better than the ones on Valoraven, so I'm kind of scared for how bad these vests are going to be. But I guess we'll see. So, it looks like the best part of the ride is either going to be the drop or the 270 degree roll at the end. So, I don't really know. I think I'm still going to enjoy it either way, but I don't know what those best. Are they going to kill it? Are they not going to? Yes, we'll see. Coming in at number 8 is going to be Gemini, the classic dueling racing coaster. This looks to be pretty fun overall. Like, I've never been on a dueling or racing coaster, so hopefully I can get some dueling rides. But, yeah, it seems to add that extra little oomph to it that it needs. It doesn't look to be the smoothest, but it's fine. We can get past that. Um, it looks like a fun, long layout with lots of turns. And it just looks like a pretty fun racing coaster overall. So I guess we'll see. Hopefully I can keep marathoning this until I get a racing ride on it. But hopefully the dispatches cooperate. Coming in at number 7 is going to be Gatekeeper. This looks like an awesome wing coaster, even though I've never ridden one before. The wing over drop looks insane. Um, the keyholes look really, really good, I and mean, you're going to provide some awesome, thrilling head chopper moments. But again, the vests, same as Valraven, I don't really know. Everyone hates on them a lot and says they're really bad, so that's what I'm going to go in probably with a negative mindset, sadly. But I don't know. Hopefully, they're not going to be as bad as everyone say they are, and I can enjoy the ride still. Coming in at number six is going to be Raptor, the B&M Invert. This looks like a pretty fun coaster and it looks extremely forceful. It has some really, really whippy inversion, which I love. And it has those two really good corkscrews at the end that look insane. And it has that really, really forceful helix at the end. So this looks like a really good invert all around and I'm excited to ride it. Coming in at number five is the legendary Magnum XL200, the world's first hyper coaster. So this looks like an airtime machine. The tunnels look absolutely insane, and those final ejector airtime tunnels look incredible. And I know I'm just going to be flying out of my seat the whole ride. Um, all the POVs I've seen this look amazing. Everyone speaks pretty highly of it, except there's like a few people that hate on it for being rough. But I don't know, hopefully I can get past that and enjoy the ride for how amazing it is. Coming in at number four is Top thrill dragster the intamin strata coaster this thing looks insane it has like an incredible launch so forceful 120 miles per hour straight up a 420 foot spike and that is just gonna be absolutely insane i don't even know how that's gonna feel i haven't even been on a real launch coaster because i don't know if backlot stunt coaster counts as a launch coaster so this is a pretty big first step but yeah the top hat looks like you get a lot of airtime. The downwards drop looks awesome through that spiral. 420 feet in the air. So that looks phenomenal. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. So the next two rides can be interchangeable. But coming in at number three is going to be Maverick, the Intamin Boats Coaster. It looks like it has that really cool launch lift hill that is pretty unique. It looks like it has insanely forceful elements including that 95 degree drop straight into that bank turn it looks like it has great trends great whippy transitions and really good intensity throughout the whole ride 
So I'm super hyped for this one, and I hope it lives up to the hype because everyone praises it so much. And now coming in at number two is Millennium Force, the world's first giga coaster. This thing looks incredible. That drop, the amazing view of Lake Erie, the absolutely insane speed, great pacing, long layout, amazing overbanks, and more. Leviathan is almost the same speed as this, but people say you just feel the speed so much more on Millennium Force. It just looks so incredible. I've been wanting to ride this for years now, and it just looks so, so good. So I am really, really excited to ride this one, and I hope it lives up to the hype. Okay, now, finally, coming in at number one, I'm sure everyone predicted this, but it is Steel Vengeance, the brand new for 2018 RMC hybrid conversion of Mean Streak. This thing just looks ridiculously insane. Like it has a 200 foot tall, 90 degree drop, great pacing, insane airtime, the most in the world actually, forceful inversions, and a super long layout. So I love airtime overall. I've never been on a coaster with real ejector, so Maverick and Steel Vengeance are gonna be different for me, but I don't know, it looks just so incredible and I cannot wait to ride these coasters at Cedar Point. So that's it, those are my top 10 most anticipated coasters at Cedar Point. I've been waiting to go to this park for a really long time and I'm finally going, so it's gonna be great. Stay tuned for lots of content from the trip. I'll be making a similar video ranking every coaster at Cedar Point once I come back and then we can compare the two and see if my predictions were correct. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.